Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am bringing you my no makeup makeup look. More like a 10 minute natural makeup look. It came out a little more dramatic than I wanted it to, but I'm going through and teaching you guys how to do your makeup quickly, how to do that no makeup makeup look, and which products are the best for you. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. I make beauty videos every week. I'm bringing you the best makeup, the best skincare, the best beauty treatments, and everything that'd be right for your skin type. If you'd like to see my natural makeup look, then please keep on watching. So the first part of your minimal makeup routine, it's gonna be up to your skin type and what concerns you have based on what foundations and concealers you're gonna use. So for example, I have hyperpigmentation. I have a little scarring. Um, well, these aren't really scars. I got a facial yesterday. So as you can see here, and here and here, I have like little red marks from the extractions. So for me, I'm gonna lay down a concealer first and then put a natural natural foundation um, over this. But if you're someone who has perfect skin and you just want a little color, a little glow, you're gonna use something natural, like for example, the Armani Luminous Silk. That will just even you out and make you look really, really glowy. And for someone who wants a little more coverage, but it's still like no makeup makeup, you can use something like the Maybelline Fit Me, you can do whatever concoction you want. It's gonna be based on your skin and what's natural to you because everybody has their own definition of natural makeup. I know for me, I could say natural glam and someone would think it's a full face and others would think you're not wearing anything at all. So it's open for interpretation. So for what I need today for this minimal look is gonna be some concealer on these marks and then we're gonna go on with the foundation and then we're gonna keep it going. So this light has me super blown out, so I look a lot paler on camera than in person. But I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longer Concealer. This is like an OG. This is um, NC20. So this is gonna be very, very fair, but I'm gonna use this just to cover the spots, and then you won't even see how light it is when you put the foundation over top. I'm personally using a brush for this because I want more coverage. If you don't need coverage when you do your foundation, use a beauty blender and tap rather than do this because you'll get coverage if you tap it. I'm actually so pale right now that this blends in. <laughs> I haven't self tan or gone in the sun at all. So I'm just tapping this over the areas. If you have hyperpigmentation through here like I do, you're gonna wanna tap a little bit through there. The whole goal is just to make your skin look very even and bright. So as you can tell, it looks like I don't have anything on but that redness is a little more calm. For me personally, my natural makeup is definitely gonna have some coverage to it. If I'm doing no makeup, I'm literally wearing a tinted sunscreen and I have lash extensions and that's basically it. And then if I'm doing a natural no makeup makeup look, I still want that full coverage on my skin. That's just my preference. So again, it's gonna be up to you how much coverage you wanna put for the foundation. So I'm just putting this all over with a brush I just wanna get a nice even coverage on my skin. Cover up the redness, the blotchiness. So I'm gonna use the Shape Tape in light medium and I just want a little coverage here where those extraction marks were. Probably shouldn't have filmed the day after a facial but the show must go on. <laughs> I'm just tapping also with the brush. This is my Fenty brush, I really love this one. Once you're happy with how the skin looks, we can move on to concealer. And I'm gonna be trying this new concealer. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 3.75. I got this one because it had a little bit of a pink tone to it, and I love that for brightening my under eyes. So this one is on the heavier side, but I'm not gonna apply a lot like I would with a full glam. And for more natural makeup, I just like applying it in this corner and here, and then when I blend it, it kinda gives full coverage to the whole area but I do have darker under eyes, so I need the concealer to do its job, especially for the no makeup look, because if you don't get those under eyes good, the no makeup is gonna look stupid because you're still gonna look tired. For my natural makeup days, I like blending out the concealer with the foundation brush, so it's not such a big contrast. Like, when I do full, full glam, my under eye will be super bright, but with this, I'll probably just blend this with this so it can match my skin tone a little better. For your contour and bronzer for no makeup makeup days, it's really up to you if you wanna just do powder. If you're in a hurry and you're trying to do this under 10 minutes, and you're more concerned with time rather than how it looks, 
I would definitely go with the powders. If you wanna just have that no makeup look, but you don't care how long it takes you, I'd recommend layering your creams underneath your powders and that way it's gonna last a lot longer and look better in pictures. If you're someone who likes to take pictures or do Instagram or TikTok videos. For my cream or liquid bronzer, I love using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Um, I have both shades here actually. So I have the fair medium and then I have the medium deep. It just depends on how tan I am or if I self tan, how dark I did my foundation. So today, since it's more natural, I'm thinking of trying the lighter shade. This one's a lighter one, so I can go a bit crazy, but I really love how this one blends. So I typically do cheeks, a little rainbow on the head, my jaw, uh, definitely got to contour the nose. Again, when you blend this out, this liquid one, you're not even gonna be able to notice it. You're just gonna look flawless. So to me, this is a key for the no makeup makeup look. And I actually really love um, this natural color. Obviously, if you have deeper skin than me, use the next one up and I use that one when I'm tan. I'm gonna actually use my Tati Beauty Puff to blend this out. Um, typically, you can use a brush. You can use your beauty blender. I'm gonna just try this one today. So I'm just tapping her out because this is very natural. And when you tap like this, it's gonna keep that coverage for you and just blend these lines. So you can already see how good that looks. Same with the jaw, we're just tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm explaining everything to you guys thoroughly so you know what I'm doing. So it's gonna take me a little longer than a 10 minute makeup. If you're doing this on your own, it's definitely gonna take you five to 10 minutes depending on your skin, how much coverage you want, what you wanna do for the day. So I'm still gonna do my creams because for me, my no makeup makeup look, I just wanna go all out and just make my skin look very hydrated and glowy and luminous. So I'm layering my creams underneath my powders. So I'm going to use this cream blush. This is by Merit Beauty. They're sold at Sephora. I'll also link this down below. This is in the shade Beverly Hills. So we're just gonna put on a little cream cheek color before we set with powders. So this color is super, super natural. So I'm basically just going to cover the whole cheek area, the apples, and go up high. This will also make your powder blush pop a little bit more, and it will last longer. So if you're like a mom or someone on the go, or you want your makeup to last all day, even when it's natural, this will last you when you're layering the cream products underneath. Because you know blush is always the first to go. So I'm just going to tap this out with that foundation brush. It's very, very natural. Lastly for creams, before we set, I'm going to do a highlighter. I like this stick by Merit. This is in the shade Kava and the Highlighting Balm. I also love the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Highlighters. I have about three of those. So any kind of cream highlight is gonna be amazing. Even if you're someone who's oily, if you put this underneath, it's just gonna look really nice once you set it with powders. So as you can see, this will just give you that amazing, natural, dewy finish. It almost makes your skin look wet. Now we're gonna go in and set all of this. Just one thing to note, if you're on a time crunch and you have five to 10 minutes, I would just mostly go in with powders. If your skin needs to be evened out, definitely use a foundation. But for me, a powder foundation is super fast and just using powders only, not creams, it's very, very helpful. But if I want this no makeup look to last, I'm gonna layer my creams and then my powders. So to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Powder. I normally use my MAC Studio Tech uh, foundation powder, but I want this to be a little natural. So this is in Summer Bisque, and it comes with this amazing brush from QVC. It's like a really cool um, triangle shape, and it just gets in there and brightens that up. I actually found out about this from Emily Gemma. I'm obsessed with her. Every single product she recommends is always A1. So what I like to do is take some in the cap and put it on this brush, and then I just tap here just tap, don't ever do that back and forth. Just tap and you'll get that coverage. You're not gonna be moving the products underneath. I'm gonna go in and set my whole face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Falls Finish Powder in the shade two. And I personally get a little shiny in my T-zone. So I'm just making sure to set the whole face. We're gonna go with our Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is the shade two. This is actually my first time using this. Don't ask me why, because I've been using the powder for years and it's amazing. So I'm excited to try this and the pan is so big, so it should last you a while. So I love this for like the natural day. It has good pigment to it. This is actually the correct shade for how light I am right now. Why did I wait so long to buy this? You know how long this has been out? Next, we're doing highlight. I always do highlight before blush because it makes it look more blended and not just like a stripe on your face especially on those natural days. You need this to blend. I'm taking the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlight Palette. 
I just love mixing all these together. So this is gonna look a little intense, but once everything is done, it's gonna be amazing and blend it out. For blush on a natural day, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Blush in Ecstasy. And I like to just take a slanted brush from Smashbox, swirl the two together. I always set my face no matter what kind of makeup I'm doing. It feels good and everything blends a lot better. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flaws Finish um, Setting Spray. I love taking a little fan and letting my setting spray dry. Because I love putting on a lot. So I love doing my brows before I do eyes. We're not doing much on eyes, so don't get too excited. But for my brows, this depends. Do you want a natural brow look or do you want a little bit more of like a glam brow? So for example, you could leave your brows blank. If you're someone who doesn't have a lot of eyebrows, fill them in with a quick powder. You could also use just a brow gel. Um, I'm gonna actually use the Anastasia Brow Freeze because I kind of like that, you know, brow laminated look. This lasts forever. So I'm just taking a spoolie brush, dipping it in, and then combing it through the brows. This is like very, very sticky, like a gel, and it is gonna leave a shiny finish. The reason why I'm doing this is because the whole face is natural and glowy. For eyes, I just love doing bronzer. I'm actually gonna be doing my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Any bronzer you put on your face, put it in your crease. I could use a Charlotte Tilbury one also, but I just wanna try my Hula one because that's the one I always use in my crease. If you have eyelash extensions, you already know it makes everything so quick. I'm literally just throwing this in the crease and like look at my look. Just like natural and fast and really pretty. I did like two swipes on each side like this. If you're going for a little bit of like a more dramatic look, you can always run your bronzer along the bottom, but for this no makeup look, I'm not doing that. I feel like mascara makes the biggest difference. If you have zero time and you don't have lash extensions, you have no time to do anything, bring your mascara in the car, do two coats on the top, one coat on the bottom, you're instantly gonna look put together, awake, lifted like you got 10 hours of sleep. So I'm using the MAC Extended Play. This is the best bottom lash mascara. It doesn't ever get on the concealer. It lasts all day and the brush is super small so it gets every single lash. So I didn't do as much mascara as I normally would for a full glam but I definitely feel like this opens up the eyes. So it's up to you. If you don't want to do bottom mascara, you don't have to. I know a ton of people do not like bottom mascara. Um, I think it's just a preference thing but I personally love it especially with the lash extensions because you know, you can offset some of that drama. So I'm gonna be using this KKW lip liner. Uh, this is called Classic Kim. Guys, my pet peeve in life is when people don't wear lip liner. Come on, please. Wear some lip liner, please. Even when you're going for that no makeup makeup look, if you just put a gloss on, your lips are disappearing. We need the lips, we need them to pop, okay? I love doing a darker brown. When I fill in almost the whole lip, I leave the center out. Now guys, Wait till I show you this product. Wait till I show you this. This is by Merit Beauty. I showed you guys already the highlighting stick and also the um, cream blush, which is life-changing. They have my favorite little brush. This is the softest foundation brush. I'm gonna be using their new shade slick. This just came out actually the day I'm filming this. This is in the shade taupe, but I also have the shade Bel Air. This is like your amazing clear one you could throw on, bare skin or over anything. This shade taupe is my favorite color because just watch. Look how amazing this is. This would go with anyone's skin tone. No matter how fair or how deep your skin is, this would go with it. It's a lip oil, so it's gonna be hydrating to your lips, but then it adds color. Merit's all about clean beauty, minimalist, clean skin, nice natural makeup looks, and I love that because I'm obsessed with clean beauty. They're all about less is more, and I'm here for that because I'm tired of doing a full beat of a face. <laughs> Merit actually sent me all the products that I used and showed you guys, so thank you so much to Merit for sending those to me. I love the products, I love the lip oil, and this Bel Air one, I can already tell, is gonna run out so fast. I just wanna do like a tinted sunscreen in that gloss and be on my way. I actually have three colors of these. Um, they already had, I think like four shades and then they launched four new shades. It's in Sephora and you can also shop on their website. I'm actually gonna link it down below for you guys. I also have this color called All Natural and it's kind of like a blush pink compared to the new taupe shade that I just used. 
So the one I used is on the bottom and then this is the one they already had that's like their amazing natural one. So this is it for my no makeup makeup look. I did go a little more dramatic on the lip color and with the mascara and brows. It's more dramatic on camera than it is in person. Like when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, mm, it's a little dramatic, but I'm not sure how it came out this dramatic actually. Like where did I go wrong? Nonetheless, this is like a stunning look natural quick i don't know i'm loving the vibes right now it's still like a clean nice look so thank you guys for watching my no makeup makeup look if you're not already subscribed please do so it would mean a lot to me so you can see all the videos i make i make videos every week on anything that's related to beauty makeup skincare beauty treatments the works i'm bringing you guys all the best products so you can find the right products for you until next time thank you so much for watching